What's up my friends? Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning. The wife and I are rare, rare time that we're actually off together to spend some time together. And uh, of course, what does she want to do? Go do some uh, hunting at some antique stores and I cannot argue. So we're going to be checking out Vintage Vibe. Place looks amazing. I've already seen some really cool stuff in the window. So let's go in and check it out. See you inside. Three, two, one. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again Back in the days when I was young I'm not a kid anymore Is it closed? Wasn't this a uh, table here last time? Right? No. It was oh. a white one. Oh, look at that. What do you think about these? You like this one? I like mm -hmm. the chairs are taller, the backs. Oh, what would you use for this? Look how tall it is. It's called a buffet. These are like giants. I guess it is, yeah. It's very interesting. Look at that one. Do you like those? Yeah. Oh, that would look good, right? By the window up there? By the window. By the walls. I like it. It is nice. Do you like the half one? <laughs> the half round? Bless you. <laughs> Bless. This Hold on, is it on the ground or where is it? That's it? Oh, like a light, like a light. That's nice. That's what I want. It seems that tight. <coughs> Yeah.
comfy? That is pretty butterflies. It's nice for an accent chair, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's so comfortable, too. How much is it again? 185? 185. Firm. It's so comfortable. Because if we get that grease. Yeah. Do you have water in your car? Yeah. You done? What's up, folks? Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, back at ground zero of the tornado strike. Uh, I do have my parlor, but it's at the new location, the new house. So today I'll be doing a, a review here at my old house as I'm working on it as well. So let's go ahead and get into my haul for this week. I want to go ahead and show you a few things I've picked up. I hope you did enjoy the uh, thrift store video that I showed you. So let's go ahead and get right into this. First figure I want to show you is an early 90s Toy Biz Wolverine figure. Looking really cool. I got him loose for a dollar. Uh, no accessories at all. This is early 90s. 
have several of these already in different outfits, so that's why I went ahead and picked him up. Wolverine's always cool. All right. Next figures I picked up is I got a Tusken Raider. This is a vintage Tusken Raider, 77. Uh, no accessories, no weapon, no vinyl cape. Got him for a buck also. Uh, I army build these guys, so it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. I do have a complete as well. Next one I picked up, he also came with the Tusken Raider, actually, for the dollar. And I believe this to be a Dino Rider. I know my buddy Dave Blucher probably may know more about this figure. I didn't actually look him up. But he's very cool looking. He's got around three inches of height. He comes with no accessories. He's got very standard seven point articulation very cool looking little guy i do want to get into dino riders they're kind of hard to come by and i have other things going on so it may take a while but eventually i will i will be finding some of those figures let's go ahead and move them over there all right so next figure i picked up this guy's name is goat but it's spelled j-o-a-t so i don't know if that's pronounced properly he's a 1990 Pirates of Dark Water figure. I thought he looked so cool. I love this line. They have an, a, set, uh, a vehicle that's a big old pirate ship that comes with the line that I definitely want to get and display more of these. I have several of these guys. Uh, probably a good eight or ten of these guys that uh, I have already. I would like to, when I get to set up my toy room, I'm definitely going to want to put them together and possibly pick up that uh, pirate ship. All right, so... Next figure I picked up is going to be a 1982 Rimco figure. I believe this to be Rimco anyway. And he is really cool looking. He's a 5.5. He's solid black and he's got that really poppin' green um, shorts and his kind of like Trojan hat. Really cool looking. I got him for $5.00. These KOs or the Rimco style, sometimes they're a little pricier to come by, but I like to get, I like him. He's going to be going in with my 5.5 collection that I'm trying to beef up this year. Very cool looking. Okay, so next figures I picked up. Let's go ahead and make some room here. All right. Next figure I picked up is going to be 1991 Bucky O'Hare figure line. And this is Storm Toad Trooper. No, again, no accessories. I will have to dig those up. I wouldn't mind army building him. But the figure itself is in great shape. Five point articulation. It's a really cool looking figure. I don't see hardly any issues at all with his paint. This is another cool line. I have several figures from this line. I just haven't got around to... Uh, I think a lot of my problem is once I can set up a toy room, then I can actually better catalog what I have and and uh, display them as a team, like as a group. And last but not least, I got Deadshot Duck. This is also a 1991 Bucky O'Hare figure. Again, no accessories, but uh, I see a little scuffage on the hands. Maybe that's common for this this type of toy, this type of year. But, man, he is a cool-looking figure. Four arms, you just can't beat something like that. Very cool looking. I would like to get him complete eventually as well. So that is going to be my total haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of cool vintage figures. Again, this is the Tattoo Toy Hunter reminding you, never give up that hunt. Y'all take care. Pew, 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 pew. Also, please like the video if you liked it and subscribe to help me grow. Catch you next time. Yeah.